Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And here I am in uh, my garage. And um, I've already posted a couple of videos uh, showing this machine. I just purchased this the other day, a couple of days ago, actually. And this is the Orbot Vibe. And um, I've already used it on a couple of commercial jobs in the last couple of days. I just did a pretty big job this morning, and I assume I'll put the... Uh, videos up before this one uh, I did some tile some LVP and some carpet and uh, I took I did a video of each of those jobs everything turned out really well um, and um, the machine performed flawlessly uh, it is an excellent machine I um, I have the Orbot which is the original one which is sitting right here I'm actually doing a rebuild on this one uh, it's um, the bottom plate was getting rusty, so I decided it was time. I just pulled it all apart, and uh, I've, I'm getting it powder coated. I hate rust, <laughs> and it's not very expensive to do. I mean, it's a bit of a hassle, but anyway. Um, and I've owned this machine for. Let's see, I bought it in 2011, I believe. <clears throat> and um, it hasn't gone anywhere near the hours of my Orbitech machine, which is this one sitting right there. I prefer the ergonomics of the Orbitech, um, and it cleans exactly the same as the Orbot anyway. Um, but, and uh, I'm definitely not a fan of uh, this hinging system. In fact, when I had it, um, within a month or so, I think it tipped on, in the van and uh, didn't actually fall over but it did enough stress on it that it actually ended up having to, re I think I actually replaced both hinges. But anyway, that's a whole other story. So uh, let's uh, talk about the purpose of this, this video is to talk about the vibe and I wanted to just go over it. I know a lot of you guys, um, um, a lot of you guys are familiar with the vibe. Some of you own one and uh, some of you would like to own one or think you'd like to own one, because uh, it is an excellent OP machine. Um, so I'll, I'll go over um, the features of this machine and hopefully give you some insight into it. And uh, I'll tell you what I think of it. And um, so let's talk about um, one of the biggest differences between this and the Orbot, the original one, which is right there is of course this has the tank the the uh, permanent tank attached to the handle you can get it without the tank if you want for a few hundred bucks less i guess but that was not an option for me i definitely wanted the tank because i expected to primarily use this for commercial work and for commercial work you definitely want to have a tank um, now this has the what they call the cartridge system and when i got my machine i my this is a very early machine and i had a heck of a time getting the the jugs in and out of here they it was just a little bit too small so i actually cut that with a hacksaw and i put um a heat shrink heat shrink here and that uh, gave it enough uh, of a opening i guess it's slightly bigger than it was originally even now it's still really tight to get in and out of there so um and i certainly didn't like that um i thought anyway i didn't like that i thought it was complicated and clumsy i get that you can change your solutions back and forth whatever i've never really had an issue when using a machine with a tank which is the way i use my rotary anyway so um but that was another thing that i did not like about this machine and the hinges and the balance is it's just off a little bit on this machine the, um, it tends to especially when you get it full of solution it, it feels like it's kind of wanting to tip back at you you can run it with weights on it makes a big difference but anyway over to this one this this is the focus <laughs> yeah squirrel <laughs> um so let's talk about uh some of the things about this machine first thing is that i actually hadn't i walked into the uh, carpet store supply store carpet cleaner supply store the other day um safety express and um there it was just sitting there out of the box it, literally they'd just taken it out and um, i hadn't gone in there with any intention of buying a vibe in fact i've never actually seen one this is the first time seeing one and my first impression was wow this is a well-made machine and that's the first thing to 
note about it. All the this machine just oozes quality. The the way they put this together, it is a well made, well thought out machine, and um, very functional, very easy to use. Um, and but the quality, first off, great quality. So let's just start at the top. <laughs> And the handle, oh, here's the thing I didn't like about the other one. Uh, I like the handle, the way the handle is like a T handle, whereas this thing has these uh, these arms that stick forward. And then the, I can't remember what that's the, oh, this is the, the power switch, and that's the, that's the um, uh, pump switch. And I actually sw switched mine out. Normally, it's one you have to push and hold on to make it the pump work. Um, so you have to keep your finger on there the whole time and that got kind of tiresome and so I switched it out exactly the same switch but this is an on off switch so you click and it's on click and it's off so once you click it on you can take your hand off of there you gotta remember to, to flick it off of course but I I found that this handle just didn't work for me I just found it awkward and clumsy so <laughs> what can I say um, anyway so uh, and on the top of the machine so when you're holding it right here, you've got your, there, there's your, oh, it's actually, oh, yeah, it's plugged in. <laughs> I forgot. Um, so there's your, your your pump. And it sprays right there. And it's a momentary on, meaning you just have your finger on it. And as soon as you let go, it, it, it stops pumping. So you're, you're, you press down and, and the pump is on. Uh, that's perfectly situated. And the on-off switch is right here. Click right at your fingertip. It just very nicely positioned and, and I do like the uh, the T shaped handle much better. It's also a little bit smaller in diameter better just ergonomics are better for this There's a fuse right there by the way if that pop if you uh, overload it it pops out you Just push it back in. I just noticed that I didn't realize where that was <laughs> um, Just nicely made and even I mean look at the welds on here just perfect welds very nicely done now the tank um, the tank could have been bigger, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, they could have made it a bit wider, I think, but they wanted to give it a certain look, and that's fine. I, I think it holds it holds at least two and a half gallons, I think. And then the lid just... Okay, the lid doesn't exactly... There we go. Anyway, it comes off pretty easy. It, it locks in place, so it seals the tank. So you're not going to slosh around if you bump into things and whatever, seals. And that's what this is here for. This is actually a one-way valve. So as, it, as the solution drops, this bleeds air in. This is a nice feature. Hey, look at that. Ooh, so that's a fill hose. That's a good idea. So if you're in a place and you need to fill it, you haven't got a bucket, but there's a sink nearby, you can just wheel the machine in and you know pull this out a little bit and stick it on the top. And there you go, excellent. Uh, so that's a good idea. Um, over here, the um, handle release. Now let's have a look at the one over here. This one is inside here. And another pet peeve. I found this one just in, to be in a bit of an awkward position because you got to reach sort of between the handle. And whereas this one, this is a little more um, intuitive, um, I guess. It just... I think it's in a better position. And they also have it, see this one doesn't have the, this has the reinforcement there. So maybe they were having some that broke, I don't know. Uh, so they've reinforced it there, that's nice. And then you lower the handle down and down. Uh, so that's that works really well and easy. Uh, so let's go over to here, look at a couple of things and I'll show you another comparison here. This is a Velcro drive, which I actually like better than the um, the tufted driver. Um, it's easier on your pads, and um, as long as you aren't using cotton Iron Man or cotton like this, this is Iron Man. I mean, they work really well into the machine, but they will clog up your Velcro really fast. Um, the the um, microfiber or microfiber scrub, scrub strips work really well and they won't clog it up and of course the uh, super zorbs which are the um, orbot brand I got, a, I, got I, I bought 10 new ones too uh, anyway they work really well and they don't clog it up and they last a long time how long 
Well, this is actually the original drive pad Velcro for my Orbot. And I've cleaned it off before, and I'll, I'll probably clean it off again. But it's not actually worn out yet. If I clean it out, it'll keep going for, uh, you know, it go for a long, long time yet. I did buy another one of those, but I never used it. That is the original uh, Velcro for this machine here. This, by the way, in case you're interested, this is actually the um, the counterbalance and the and the bearing for the uh, Orbot and the Orbot Vibe. This is off of this machine, obviously, and um, so it just goes on to the bottom of the shaft. So there's a I did a video where I showed this in a, a few back, so if you're cu curious about that, go back and take a look, and you'll see how it works. There's the there's the um, the bearing right there, which is the wear point. I've re I replaced the bearing at least once on this machine, but they last a good long time. Partly because this machine is so smooth, it, it uh, the bearings last a lot longer. And I'll just show you something here on my. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right here. Hang on. This was the uh, the race that I had manufactured because the original machine when I bought it, that Orbot, it didn't have this shoulder you see here. It, what they did is they just had peened the edge over, around, and just peened it over, and that was all that was holding the bearing in on that machine when I got it. Uh, so I thought that's not a good idea. I took it into a machine shop and I said, can you manufacture this identical but put a little shoulder all the way around? And uh, so I had, I think, three of these made. And that's what's on here. So I took the original one off. Because right away, there was it, was it was flopping around, like, really quickly. It started to make noise. So I had to replace it. And uh, that's what's on there now, the one that I had manufactured. And uh, isn't that nice? <laughs> And it's never been an issue ever since. So, anyway, I'm assuming that they now, ever since then, they probably may manufacture theirs that way. I don't know, maybe they were just, I, I don't know why it was that way. But it was an obvious bad engineering, and I think they've, I'm sure they've improved that. So this is the Velcro on this one, and um, I'm going to put this pad on here. Oh, you can just undo these screws and this thing drops off and you can replace it. I'm going to put this pad on here for just to demonstrate it here to drop it down. There we go. So it has a, this is the bumper, different than the um, one on the Orbot. This one is in pieces. It's sitting right here because I took it off to take it all apart. It's all in pieces. And so they've made it, they've got to put it all back together when I get the bottom plate back. Anyway, uh, so it's a one piece, and uh, it, it looks to me like this is actually powder coated now, which it it was not on that machine. That's why they started peeling off and uh, pretty quickly actually, and um, rusting. Uh, so I I think this is powder coated and clear coated. I think it is anyway. Uh, the jets are right here. They're in this ha this handle, really strong, sturdy handle. You definitely want to be using that. When you pick it up, put it in the vehicle. It's it's 95 pounds. That's a pretty decent weight. Um, I think the Orbot is heavier. So that's that's actually the Orbot. This is the Orbot Vibe. So the original Orbot is heavier, not by much, but at least 10 or 15 pounds, I think. Um, I do have weights on here right now because I was using it today. <laughs> I forgot to take them off. And I went to grab it and put it in the van. I was like, hey, this thing feels heavy. And then I realized, oh, I didn't take the weights off. So there's another one. 40 pounds almost plus there's some solution in here too but anyway the weights just go on there very easily so i had the weights for the original machine and of course they work on this one as well here's their nice little motor they've been using for quite a few years and of course the spray system has got these uh i guess these are press and release uh you can you push this down and then you can pull the, the tube out if you want to um and of course there's the the pump right underneath there. I I assume it's a hundred and hundred, might be a sixty or a hundred. I don't know what it is, um, but I do plan to put a um, a valve on here so that I can decrease 
the volume of, of uh, spray that comes out because it really puts out a lot more than I typically am comfortable with. Um, but I want to be able to have the option to slow down or increase the amount of the flow. And I find that this, the jets, when they're spraying, uh, they're not spraying down on the carpet. They're hitting the carpet probably, probably about a foot or more in front of the machine. And you can actually see it spraying out in front. And so you got to turn off the spray when you're like two or three feet away from a wall or you'll be spraying the wall. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And one reason that I, um, I'm not really liking a spray system for in a house. But um, I will give this a try in the house. I've done my, used my Orbot in houses. Um, but anyway, uh, it has a, a an additional power takeoff here, right here. So I could plug something in there and I will be doing that because I will be putting a light on this machine. Um, I'll probably mount it right about here. I'll be an LED light because you definitely want to see in the dark. And uh, we've got the large 10 inch wheels. I guess those are 10 inch, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And uh, so it will roll very easily. And um, we'll turn it upside down here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so there's the pump. And the, there's the junction box on the back of the machine. And uh, just nicely uh, put together, isn't it? Really nice. Only way I can see what the pump is. Model. Uh, can I read that? I can't read it. I can't quite read it. Um, let's see what else. Of course, you can, if you want to have maximum um, weight on whatever you're cleaning, you can flip up off the wheels and use it like this, upside down. Yeah, you can do that. And so let's turn it on. Now, how quiet is that? Let me see my hand. Virtually no vibration. It is vibrating a little bit. That's a two-way pad, by the way. So I'll show you just how far ahead the spray will get. I'm gonna hold, put the machine back, but away two feet or more from that box. See, it got the box. They got, they got the box wet. We'll try it over here. I'll move it back further. about three feet or so so it'll bounce off the floor you can actually see it got onto the box so that's one thing you need to be really aware of when you're using a machine like this with the spray like that and you can't adjust the angle of those jets either so I uh, definitely want to be careful of that and one more thing I need to point out is there's a drain right here Ooh. and uh, so if you need to drain it you can uh, I guess you could Maybe put a, it's kind of awkward. Maybe put the bucket up near there. I think it would work. Let's give it a try. We'll put it back a bit. So you would put the bucket like that. There we go. So that's doable. I think that you can, we can live with that. If you need to dump the machine out and uh, change your solution, just have your bucket handy and you can do it. And I'll, I, I'll, um, most of the time you won't be doing that, but if you had to, you could. So anyway, there you go. That's the, uh, the robot vibe and um, I definitely like the machine I've been pondering on whether I should get one of these for a few years and uh, so I decided yeah, bite the bullet and do it so there you go thank you for watching have a good day